Hey Pink Squad, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been gone for a great while and if you've been following me on social media, y'all know what's up. So this video was pre-recorded about a week and a half or two ago. So this one, it barely had launched. I ordered it and I got it in and I recorded with it and I never upload the video. So I have played with this palette twice already and let me just tell you, before using this palette, I do have the 35, is it the 35P? I don't know. It's the Plum Palette. If y'all like purples and y'all hate the Plum Palette by Morphe, do not hesitate <laughs> to get this palette. Just because I tried the 35 Plum Palette, I hate it. I'm just... I just hate it and I just feel like this formula on this palette it is super smooth super buttery like it's just the same formula as the James Charles palette um, so a little bit about information about this palette is that the middle shades are lid toppers and I did use two of those shades and I used one as my highlight and I just love it they do have a little specks of glitter which I don't mind because I like glitterly, glitterly, what's it? Glitterly, glitterly, there you go, um, type of highlighters. Um, so I didn't mind that. If you do mind glitter, just don't put it on your face. But besides that, as y'all can see, this purple, it took me a while. And it seems like th this is the only shade that I had a hard time with in building and in blending. But if you have the patience with it, it would not look patchy. I know at first it looked kind of patchy and it was just crazy. But when I recorded this video was at least 11, 30-ish, 12 o'clock at night. So I was semi-rushing with this video. But I just, I, this is the look I can't wait up with. <laughs> this is the first thing that came up to my mind. I mean, for me, just in my opinion, I mean, let me repeat that. In my opinion, I just feel like I can get the colors in other palettes. I feel like I just can use the James Charles palette and recreate this look easily. So for me, it's just like, do I need this palette? No, I do not need it. I, I'm not so much into purples. If you do love purple colors, then yes, go ahead. It is a great palette. It blended up well. It was just a purple shade. Um, and it was just, it worked perfectly. The, the formula is perfect. It's way better than their 35 Plum palettes. I really like it. And I will reach back to it, but I'm just not a purple person. So it's just not like I will get a lot of use out of it. But yes, if I wouldn't have used the James Charles palette, I would have done the same look and look exactly the same with that palette if, in case you don't want to invest the money in this palette. Um, I did go back and forth with the shades. It took me a lot of blending. You already know I like to take my time with blending the shadows and whatnot. But other than that, I feel just everything went on smooth. I, everything was pigmented and everything just worked perfectly. And I mean, I have no complaints over this palette. I believe it's $39 for 39 shades or is it $34 for 39 shades? Either one, $34, $39. It, you do get a lot of product in the middle shades. So um, it will take me a while to hit pan in this palette just to say. But if you don't support James Charles, if you don't like James Charles, maybe you will like this palette. Um, it's the same formula for me. It is, they were super velvety soft at touch. When I was swatching them on my hand when I got it. Um, I think it's a pretty good palette. I, have, I mean, like I said, I have no complaints. I really enjoyed it. And I'm just like I'm saying, I'm just not a purple person. I feel like I can't get much use out of it. I feel like every look that I do, I'm going to end up with the same type of almost look. You can go for a cool tone smoky eye. You can go for a purple tone smoky eye, a neutral everyday eye, a deep um dark vampy type of look. You can do that too. I just feel like I won't reach much for it. It's just me, but you know, everyone's different. 
but I do recommend this palette so far is it's worked pretty well both times that I have used it in my opinion um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below guys I will be uploading more videos soon I'm sorry for not being here but I did have a lot of problems but I'm back and you know we're gonna keep on going I'm going to be reviewing the Morphe I think it's a 25s the new colorful palette i will be reviewing that one soon once it comes back in stock so do not worry i will review that one i'm just trying to catch up <laughs> so i hope y'all enjoyed this video any questions let me know in the comments below i don't have much else to say about this palette it's just it's pretty good for me in my opinion it's pretty good if you like purple shades go ahead and get it if you don't then Girl, if you have the James Charles palette and you're not so much into purple shades, then I say it's a pass. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll go ahead and see you on the next one. Thought I'd end up with Sean, but it wasn't a match. Wrote some songs about Ricky, now I listen and laugh. Even almost got married, and for Pete, I'm so thankful. Wish I could say thank you to Malcolm. Cause he was an angel One taught me love One taught me patience And one taught me pain Now I'm so amazing To have loved and I've lost But that's not what I see so look what I got Look what you taught me Yeah, but I say Thank you, yes, yes Thank you, yes, yes Thank you, yes, yes Thank you, yes, yes Then what?